previously on Skyrim. She might trigger a trap. Well, warning. The following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. On the last episode, we headed back over to Tel Mithrin on the island of Solstheim to go deal with a couple of quests over there because we're still trying to work on getting some of the quests. We, uh, had, well, first off, we actually left Solstheim to go back over to Skyrim to go get a Briar Heart uh, by defeating the Briar Heart over at Bard's Leap and then taking its heart with the memory spell that Neloth gave us. After that, he wanted a Heartstone, so we gave him that, and then he wanted us to find out who the heck was attacking tell Mithrin, like because they caused tell Mithrin to shrivel up a little bit which we fixed by actually going over to the headwaters and getting those taproots soaked uh and you know who was sending ash spawn after us because he there was ash spawn outside we also had to get some ash spawn for him yay double things we ended up finding out that ildari one of his old apprentices that he thought dead was actually still alive and was trying to get revenge uh turns out she was hiding up in high point tower which was just north of fort frostmoth and she was responsible for reviving all the Ashbond, including the general at Fort Frostmoth. So we headed inside, took care of everything in there, and uh, managed to defeat Eldari and, you know, put an end to that. So, yay, we're a member of House Telvani now, whatever that entails. So, this episode, we're going to be working on another quest for Neloth, because he has so many. Um... Yeah, how many how many left do we have? One, two, three, four, five. He has five quests remaining. Let's see if he'll give us any more. Or if he just wants us to do this black book. Uh, which would be fine if he just wants us to do this because I kind of want to do it. I also did pick up another copy of Ash Spawn so that we could put this in the library. Uh, everything else should be put away right now. Oh, I also took off the Ethereal Crown. So I'm actually wearing my uh, my helmet to give this full thing, this full set of armor it's due. Uh, we didn't need the we didn't need the warrior thief stone anymore, so I switched back over to the steed stone. And because once again, once the once we patch the game with the mods, it'll become pointless. Like it'll it'll have patched that glitch that we were using. My new steward is acceptable. If only he made better tea. I don't know where your steward is. He might be in his house. Do you need help with your research? I suppose that depends. Are you willing to be an experimental subject? What kind of experiment do you want to do on me? Oh, nothing too dangerous. It should provide an additional spectral tether from your own life spark to the Adric realm. You would experience it as a sort of increased vigor. You would fight longer, feel stronger, that sort of thing. At least I think it will. Probably. Almost certainly. Of course, you never can tell. I'd be glad to help. Now stand still. It's my first time casting this spell, and I don't need any additional distractions. You won't feel a thing, but if you do, try not to scream too loudly. My ears are sensitive. Off you go. If you discover any side effects, come back and tell me straight away. Okay. What did he give us? What did he give us? Um. Oh, there it is. Neloth, 25 point health boost. So we get 25 extra health. Cool. But there's always a catch. And there is a catch he to this. He never sleeps. I don't know how he does it. But he never rests for even a moment. That's not healthy. Unless it is healthy. I don't know. He's a wizard. I don't care. So yeah, there is a negative effect with this spell. And all you have to do is go take a dip somewhere. So let's go take a dip somewhere. Let's see, the easiest place would be there's water out here. Uh, 
Hiya. All right, watch for side effects. So we look back at our active effects. Health has permanently lowered 25 points after swimming or being in the rain. Well, that's not good. I mean, to be fair, 25 points isn't all that much. But I'd like my health to be back at 1,000, please. So let's see if he can get rid of this spell. He should be able to get rid of the spell. He's the one that gave it to me. Ever since you healed the tower, Master Nelov has been experimenting on them. Oh. Now that my tower is healed, I can finish some of my more delicate experiments. Need something? <laughs> Do you need all your toes? I could really use a fresh toe for... Uh, never mind. You aren't moldy enough. Hey, your spell made me weaker once I got wet. Wet, you say? I suppose... Yes, I can see how that would have inverted the tether. Unfortunately. Couldn't you simply avoid water? No, no, that won't do. Can't have you forego bathing. The Ashlands can leave one a bit pungent, and it's uh, obvious you've been through them. Here, I'll just remove it. Here's a bit of coin. Should help mitigate your inconvenience. Cool, thank you. That's that, then. If you're going to be up here, Stay out of my way. All right. I was waiting for him to give us something, but I don't care. I'm actually just going to steal your book. Because <laughs> I need a copy for it. So I'm going to steal it, sell it, and then rebuy it. So I keep it. It's unstolen. We don't have any fences up here in Raven Rock, unless that's what Glover can do. Anyway. We have a, we have a, we have a black book to go find. I assume he's not giving us a quest right now because he's going to wait for us to leave and then come back. Which will be fine. Okay, so according to Neloth, there should be a there should be a black book in White Ridge Barrow. There is a... Well, there technically isn't a quest that goes in here, but... There is something in here, as you can tell from the blood. Ooh, that's a Yikes. They barred the door the other direction. They were trying to keep something out. Or keep people from going in. I don't have time for that. Oh, this poor guy. Albino spider. No one's damaged. No one's not damaged. I don't know what we get to do with the albino spider pods. Ooh. That guy might know. Hi there. You had a, you had a staff of peace? Oh. Where'd this come from? It came from over here. Wait. Oh boy, this is getting uh this is gonna be a very spider heavy episode, huh? Nothing back there, okay. What a fire spider. How they growl. Alright, you two are gonna pop open, huh? You sure are. What the heck is over there? 
is over there? Or is that just like the map that ends right there? <laughs> yeah, that sure is. There's a nice little crease right there. Ruby Geode. No spiders, please. Oh, there's a person down there. Except they look kind of glowy. Hey, how's it going? Hi there. Oh god, you have a spider on your back. Oh god, this is giving me nightmares. Ugh. Yeah, I knew there was something here. It looked out of place. there no, you don't have you don't have anything for me I have all these chests oh this dragger was loaded this doesn't seem like the direction I was supposed to go anyway there's a bridge right here at least it looks like there's a bridge that can get dropped probably from that side There's another person over there. What the heck was that? God, the spider on their back is just creepy. Then they probably have no idea what they're doing. Or they have, like, full knowledge of what they're doing and they can't do anything to stop it. I don't know what I would hate more. That my body's being used by a spider or that it's being used by a spider and I have full consciousness of it. I think I would rather be dead. We got some heartstone deposits down here. White Ridge Sanctum. Well, it seems like the book is in this section of the map. Did the Draugr board up the door? Wow, they're smarter than I thought. Wait, are the bandits like... Ah! Okay. Meryl Arrendis. Oh, flame cloaked spider. Jumping flame spider. You have a cage door key. You have a... You have a... You have a journal. How many pages? Oh, just one. I know what he's planning. Does he really think he can take all the credit for discovering these spiders? Next time he goes into the safety cage to do whatever it is he does with those spiders, I'll lock the door. He'll have no choice but to listen to me then. What does he mean about me not being right in the head? There's nothing wrong with me. He's the one trying to steal my discovery. Does he, does he think I don't see what he's doing? There's nothing wrong with me. Nothing. He keeps talking to me like I'm insane. I'm not insane. Who said I'm insane? Did I say I was insane? I'll show him insane. It doesn't matter. He'll see what real power is. The chanting we heard just outside the main chamber must mean there's something extremely powerful there. If I can get my hands on that energy and bring it back, who knows what kind of discoveries we can make from it. Well, I mean, if you were insane, then I guess it's over now. Also, she said cage. Hey, you're not doing anything. Ooh, oh, wait, that's not that deep. Well, it's a little deep. Probably don't want to fall down there. Ah! 
If I did, how do I get out? Probably here. Yeah, this looks like I'm above a trap door. I sure am. And that's what leads to this section of the cave. Okay. Are there any other goodies down here? Just some geodes. And a skeleton. I didn't I didn't kill the skeleton guy. It was like that when I got here. She said she locked someone in a cage. Where's the cage at? Alright, since I know that these ones explode when I get close to them. Uh, wait, 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 wait. There was another path back here. What was this direction first? Ah, there's the cage. making that noise wow these spiders just took over everything there's another there's a spare cage door key in case you didn't steal it from her anything else here a uh, third era no 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 these all look like normal books where's all the where's all the dragonborn books Dragonbone books. Oh, wait, hold on. Take that sapphire. Okay, what's making the glug glug, the glug glug noise? It's very disturbing. Oh, there's the cage. Ooh. Servos Rendis. She's finally done it. I knew she'd eventually crack. Probably should have left when I had the chance. The untapped power within these spiders has finally gotten to Marilar's head. Who'd have thought these tiny albino creatures had the ability to harness such magic? Being locked in this cage is frustrating, of course, but it's keeping me from more focused on my work. What, is, what did she think I was going to do anyway? As my sister, she must have known how devoted I am to this work. Though I can't fault her for her actions right now. Who knows what kind of fumes these experiments have been giving off, or what effect they have on the human brain. At least I'm alright. Or maybe I'm not, but I think I am. Could these experiments be having the same effect on me as they are on her? Oh, she has, he has way more pages. Magnificent. It seems as though you can combine any one of the base spiders with a modifier to tweak its behavior. For instance, just imbuing an albino pod with a ruby seems to create a spider that jumps at its victims and proceeds to explode. But by simply adding a salt pile to the mix, it creates the same manner of a spider, but instead of jumping and exploding, it emits flames from its body. I'd experiment with these more of these behaviors, but it seems the bandits we tested the mind control spiders on are all still locked away. Mirlar doesn't want me to let them out. Maybe there are too many in there for her to handle. I heard her muttering to herself earlier today. She was saying things like, the spiders are mine, they'll listen to me. What exactly is she planning? I hope she's not attempting to enter the blocked off room in the main chamber. She knows we specifically seal it after hearing odd chanting coming from that direction. And again, what 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 she used to know may not matter right now, considering the state she's been in. I hope she'll be all right. Oh, so she kind of killed her brother, and his brother was perfectly fine with just being in here. 
Imbuing chamber. Oh boy. I've only tried a few combinations, but I, things look promising. Here's what I've discovered so far. Ruby plus albino pod equals jumping flame spider. Ruby versus damage pod equals exploding flame spider. Uh, Ruby salt pile albino pod equals flame cloak spider. And then he crossed out something for Ruby salt pile and damaged pod. Looking at the results, it seems that though the purity of the gem could enhance the imbuing process in some unforeseen way. Uh, perhaps if I could get my hands on a flawless ruby. I've also theorized that if one were to mix most of any of the ingredients in the previous experiment, a new discovery is likely to be made. On further inspection of both a diamond and a garnet, it seems they do, don't contain the necessary power required. I know for a fact that a ruby works, it seems in my previous experience. Next I'll see with how the reaction works with an amethyst, emerald, or even a sapphire. There must be other types of spiders out there. Who knows what other kinds of imbuing processes have taken place. We'll best keep our eyes open. The source of the interaction will most likely be nearby, whatever new species we find. He did not have a he did not have a ruby, but he does have an imbuing chamber here, so we could we could test something out. Uh, put an albino spider pod. We could put in a ruby. Ooh, I got the recipe for jumping flame spider. Ruby jam and albino spider pod to get a jumping flame spider, which is. Where? They're in my scrolls category. So I get to use them. Oh god, I'm just carrying them in my hand. Oh, this is this is definitely creepy for anyone that doesn't like spiders. Yeah, we'll just take this with, and if we see like anything that needs to die. Oh, this is the end of a mine shaft. I mean, we have been we have seen several uh, other types of spiders around here, and he did mention that the type of spiders that you run into would be based on the gems that are nearby. Well, we did just see some like frost gem frost spiders last episode, and they seem to be next to I think sapphire. She said, back here is all the mind control spiders. This thing making a lot of noise just for being in my hand. Oh, hi there. Someone do something. There, take that. Okay. You guys are being very rude. So those are mind control spiders on their necks. Okay. Still creepy. Alright, I just I didn't want the I didn't want the the noise to continue in my head. We will not be experimenting with the spiders. Like, based on what else they can do. But that seems to be it for this section. I guess we took care of all the spiders, huh? So the knowledge dies with me! Because I took all the notes. I mean, that imbuing thing there is still there. Am I hearing the chanting now? Or is that the enchanting? Dukan! Oh, you're a mask? You give me your mask! Cool. How about this? There's the book too. Well, we got a mask. We got the we got the word for the final shout that we get to learn. 
cyclone. So there's only two words left. Two more word walls remain. All right, well, here's the book. The Sallow Regent. This place is dark. Does the light hurt me? Or does the darkness hurt me? Darkness hurts. Okay, so being in darkness hurts. Oh God, your eyeballs there. Whatever's causing a line, I'm just following it right now. Huh. Why does this section of the map... Why, why is this section of the map so difficult? Comparatively. Oh, that darkness doesn't count. Ow, 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 ow. Can I cast my own light spells? I don't know if that would work. Probably illusion. Uh, alteration. Mage light, candle light. I think candle light would be better right now. Did I just get a book that I really wanted and I wasn't expecting to actually get it? Ow, what the heck is hitting me? Oh, there's still another thing alive. It does seem that the light spell is working. Oh my goodness. I wasn't actually expecting to get this book. Well, a lot until I patched it. Wait, I already have that. Oh, oh wait, what? Okay. Detect undead and dead are the same thing? I guess. Oh, well, I don't need to count it anyway. Apparently, there was a Detect Undead spell that you could learn from, like, if you went the Dawn Guard path on, like, the the, the vampire side. Who was shooting me? You were shooting me. And that was one spell that I was unable to get because... I mean, we killed the guy. But, I mean, once once we patch the game, there's probably a way I can get it. I like how the, you know what, the, the, the candlelight spell is working wonders. I'm not getting hurt in the darkness because I'm covered in light right now. Oh boy. Hi over there. I don't see the tentacles up in the sky, so I don't know if there's going to be extra chapters for this one. I feel like the difficulty alone on this being a, uh, like a dark section will negate the need for chapters. But we'll see. I mean, if that up there is just where, like, the actual book goes... Yep, that's the actual book.
Take the books. You can stay. Ooh, let's see. A Seeker of Sorcery. All spells cost 10% less magicka. All right. Combat skills are all 10% more effective. Okay. Stealth skills are all 10% more effective. I feel like we should go with attack. No, because we're already killing everything in like one hit. But is there a need for stealth abilities? I don't think there is. Let me just take a look. Stealth, alchemy, light armor, lock picking, pickpocket, sneak, and speech. Mm. Archery, block, heavy armor, one-handed, so I think two-handed. Hey, there's the bleep loop finally. I was wondering when it was going to pop. All the... All the... Uh, nah, let's do might. I mean, I always can change it once again. I just need to read the book. Yeah, that's five black books. Hooray! And we got the bleep bloop. Double hooray. Because it's the black book. With, the, with that bleep bloop, we only have two remaining. And neither of them are Dragonborn DLC required. And there's, they should be... Stupidly easy. You didn't go that direction. All right, I need to cross back across. Oh, look at you. I don't think there's a shortcut out of this place. At least I didn't see one when I was up here. There is a place that we can go to. Wait, so is this not a bridge that I can cross? I hate. Oh. I can make that. Good. Ah, oh, but it's all boarded up on that side. Oh, this is awesome. this is just a secret. Actually, when I saw the bridge, I thought there was actually an exit. Like I said, there is another place I can quickly go check out. But we did see some spiders around there, and it's actually really close by. Before we head back over to Neloth and see what he wants. Yeah, it's this little shack over here. Frost spider. Yeah, and it has a sapphire geode next to it, so we know that frost spiders come from sapphire. There's also this, which I do have the key for now. Wait. Oh! I like how I didn't even see that. <laughs> so there was a back door, kind of. Hmm, okay. I hear a dragon. It's going to hurt people. It may, might, maybe. I know it could be a friendly dragon. Has Drevis come here yet? 
Wait, I had the steward's key? Oh, yeah, he's asleep right now. Drovis is perfectly asleep. Also, I called him Drevis. His room's kind of nice. Troll slang. He must think this is a nice, nicer place than uh, working in Raven Rock. All right, Nella, thank you for this information about where to find this black book. You got me a bleep loop. Where does that lazy steward of mine? Verona? Oh, no, wait, she's dead. Drovers! All right, first things first, can I help with your research? Can you? Of course you can. What took you so long to ask? I've been trying to adapt Red Guard magic to the Ash. I think the key concept I'm missing is recorded in Afa Sariat's book, Wind and Sand. I have some associates and correspondents who find things for me. One of them has a credible rumor on where this book might be. And I'd like you to find the truth of the matter. All right. Hey, uh, I have the black book, by the way. Excellent. I'll just make a copy for myself. It's far too dangerous to carry the real book around. Of course you can handle yourself. Of course you can. Of course. Now, take this for your efforts, and we'll call the matter closed. Okay. Hmm. So that's that, that other quest that we just got. I didn't even look where it sent me off to. Get the Wind and Sand book. Boulder Fall Cave. Is that Untel Mithrin? It certainly is not. No, oh, we gotta we could go we could go over to Skyrim. We have to go over to Skyrim anyway, because we gotta go break the law. But we have time. We could probably get this quest done now. How many more quests do I have? I feel like we're going through all of them. There is, uh, okay, after I do this, there's another, there's one more experience, and then there's, like, another fetch quest thing. Talk to Captain Galland, to Yikes, everyone talking to me. I know I'm a famous person, but still, Jesus. Where is Boulderfall Cave again? Uh, apparently it's down here. We've already done all the dungeons in Skyrim. There's only one place in Skyrim that we actually haven't gone through. Hi there. Never should have come here. Thanks for the potion. Oh, you fell down, huh? All right, there's a unique book in here somewhere. Oh, I forgot how small this dungeon was. I activated the trap. Am I even being hurt? My health is at full. Well, it sucks to be you guys, huh? Ha 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 ha. I guess I'm immune to fire. I feel like that's not true. That thing is supposed to be doing, like, nothing damage. Yeah, there's still one place in Skyrim that I haven't been to yet. Ah, oh, God, not again. I'm just... But we'll be, we'll be dealing with that place on the last episode. When we eventually get to the last episode. Come on. Come on, come on Nella. If you can give me two more quests after I turn this one in. So, do you have it? Did you get my book? Uh, yep. The book is right where you said it would be. Perhaps this particular source was worth more than I thought he was. It is. 
In any case, this is truly amazing. I think I can adapt this into a sort of whirlwind of vortex energy. Yes, yes. I'll write it out. And you can pick up a copy from Talbis in a few days. In the meantime, take this for helping me. Thank you. Hey, any more black books? Yes, Hameus Mora is devious. But then, so am I. Now, it's only a room. Yeah, now, uh -huh, hurry. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That book might contain the final secrets of Xarxes, for all, right. all we know. So he's going to repeat this lost knowledge quest until we actually have the remaining black books. Uh, how many black books are there? I thought there was eight. Eight in total. Scrolling all the way up to where the black books are. Black book, black book, black book, blah, 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 blah. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, okay. So there's only two more. Good day, friend. Spells and incantations. You don't have to have that book for sale Those now, do you? Cast them. You do not. All right, then. Okay, so it seems like I do have to leave and then come back. Also, Neloth did not give me a quest, except for one I already had. Neloth, pretty please. Because next episode, I'm going to be dealing with... If I can finish off Telmethra in this episode, that'd be great. Because next episode, we're dealing with the uh, last remaining two bleep loops. And then we're going to patch the game. Where does that lazy steward of mine? Verona? Oh, no, wait, she's dead. Drovus! Hey, can I help with your research? I'm running low. If you have any with you, Not I'll buy quest. one. Otherwise, I can tell you where you might find one. Not that quest. Let's see if loading in does gives us a different quest. Oh god, he's gonna go through a he's gonna go through an order again. Or like maybe not an order, but he gives us a random quest. Where does that I'm running low? I don't wanna give him heartstones. I want him to give me a new quest. Alright. We'll see if this gives us something new. If not, I'll load the I'll load the save outside. Do you need all your? T Perhaps later. For now, I have a slightly more personal request. You see, I'm a collector of staffs, magical staffs, in particular those made by Azra Nightwilder. Through some divinations, I believe I've located one. If you retrieve it, I'll give you a staff of my own making. Nightwielder's creations don't really hold up in comparison to what can be made today, but they have a sentimental value for me. You understand? Sure. Well, what are you waiting for? Go get me that book. I'm getting you the staff first. Which is perfect, because this is one of the quests that I wanted. Although, it's, it's just like the last quest we did, where it could be anywhere. Pine Moon Cave. Well, I think I remember where that is. I think it's located, like, next to Solitude, if memory serves me well, which it half, like, like I always say, barely does. But it does seem to have been correct this time. I thought there was, like, a vampire nest. Or it's still, no, it's vampires. It's just covered in wolves right here. Hello. Oh. I love to see you all try. Uh. Are you about to get... Nope, you're not dying that way. Alright, where do you keep your books at? There it is. Azura's Staff of Expulsion. Alright. 
Alright, there's only one quest left from uh, Neloth. At least one new quest that we can get from Neloth. So I would very much like to get that quest if possible. I think I will save the game before we enter, and then uh, we'll just like load that repeatedly until we, we give him the staff and get the quest at the same time. And the good news is, if he does give us this quest, it should be done almost instantaneously. God, I've entered the 900s in saves. <laughs> I do do a lot of safety saves, like when I'm doing repeated actions. Mirak was a formidable opponent. I wonder what he would have been like as my apprentice. Hey, I've got Azra's staff. You didn't have to speak a word. I could sense it the moment you came in. You've proven your worth, and I'm as good as my word. Take this staff from my personal collection. I think you'll find it useful. All right. Finally, I can get back to work. Okay. Now, well, I didn't... I guess I didn't need to talk. I guess he didn't have a quest for me. So we'll just leave and come back. I want to get this quest done before the end of this episode. Because it's the last one, and then I don't have to come back here. Things will, things will work out way too well. If you're going to be up here. Well, I believe I've discovered a new form of silence. Some philosophers postulate seven orders of silence, but I believe there's an eighth. If you allow me, I'd like to envelop you in the eighth form to study the mental effects. What do you say? I suppose so. Excellent. If this works, I'll prepare a version that you can cast yourself, if you ever wish to inflict, uh, study silence. Well, that's unexpected. I presume you are blind, given the state of your eyes. Master Nello, what have you done to him? What are those things growing out of his eyes? It's nothing that can't be fixed. The spell, that is. I think I can fix the spell. It should only take a couple more years. But first I need some data. Try wiggling them. No, don't shake your fist. Wiggle the tentacle things where your eyes used to be. I think it's going to be sick. <sighs> From the way they are waving about, I'm assuming they aren't under your control. And I see now that your tongue is also... Well, it's uh, probably best if I don't say. Uh, don't bother trying to scream, though. It looks like it's beginning to wear off. Is it over yet? Does he have eyes again? Mm, I, your I eyes appear to be completely back to normal. Interesting. I think you owe me for that spell. I suppose I do. It's too bad it wore off so quickly, though. Unfortunately, you don't appear to be suffering from any side effects. Anyway, take this for your time. Thank you. Are we done? I thought so. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell this that you had to throw up twice. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Yeah, my eyes are back to normal. Also, that was the quest. Yay! This place is done. I can leave. All right. And with that done, we've done every quest that we can do until Mithrin. I mean, we can continuously talk to uh, Noah to continue finding out where new black books are. Speaking of which, where is, where is he currently pointing us to? Benko... Benkongarik. Okay. Okay. 
That's up here. So, I mean, I was about to say we're going to do that next episode, but we're not. <laughs> we're not. We only have two bleep bloops remaining. Escape from jail and a bounty of a thousand gold in all nine holds. Those are simple to do. I mean, Yambo, technically we have escaped from jail, but it wasn't a real jail. It was when we went to, uh, we went, did we get a bounty for that? Going inside, uh, Sid to mine? No. Maybe? I'll have to take a look. I currently do not have a bounty in anywhere. But apparently I had a 1,000 bounty added sometime. Extra. And I, it does say jail, times jailed one, jail escape zero. So, yeah, Cinnamine did not count. But, now I need to actually escape from jail. And I need to get a bounty in every single hold. And those are going to be a little bit difficult. And also because I don't want any more, I don't like to have bounty on my soul. Uh, we're going to pretend this is a different dimension. So, you know, Yambo actually won't be experimenting this. In fact, I'm just, we're just going to say that Yambo's asleep. <laughs> just to get these bleep bloops. We will not be continuing off from whatever world the bounties are from. But, oh god, I just noticed all the trees here. They're all blasted in sideways. Okay, all right. I guess, I guess, uh, I guess the volcano eruption 200 years ago was hugely powerful. If they just, like, demolished this entire section and knocked over all of these trees. So, on the next episode of Skyrim, we are going to be going to sleep, and we're going to be having a nightmare, or a dream, depending on what Yambo thinks of it. Uh, where we're going to be breaking out of jail and becoming the worst criminal possible in Skyrim. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.